Hi, here I am. This time I'm standing in my kitchen instead of sitting at a countertop ready to eat dinner or lunch. And um, I just wanted to share with you one of the um, dessert recipes that I've been trying. And I've mentioned it a couple times. I've had a couple people ask more about it. Uh, so basically, uh, it's the chocolate cream cheese muffin recipe. And I found the recipe on one of the other websites. Um, it was from the Lose Weight with the HCG Protocol website. Um, and it's called Chocolate Cream Cheese Muffins. So I'm going to give you the ingredients, the recipe, and then you might want to jot it down and give it a try. I've already mixed them up. I've already made them today. I just took them out of the oven. I've got my silicon pan. Just took them out. They don't look real fluffy, but um, they're going to be tasty, I I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, it's really going to satisfy that sweet tooth. It's all um, ingredients that we can have in P3, and um, I just think it's awesome, you know, to be able to have something like this. What a treat. And, you know, still maintain your weight, and I've been doing that. So um, I'll give you the ingredients now, and I might even try one before I'm done with the video here, so uh, bear with me. It is the uh, chocolate cream cheese muffins. The ingredients are one package of cream cheese, one egg, one tablespoon sour cream, one teaspoon vanilla, six packets of Truvia. I'm going to tell you about that in a minute because I use something else. And then two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. You mix that until it's smooth, pour it into your muffin tin. I'm using the silicon, otherwise use the little paper cups, the little paper and the muffin pans. Bake it at 350 and uh, for 16 to 17 minutes. And I baked it at about 16 and a half minutes. Kind of cut it right in between. Um, instead of using the stevia or the truvia, I tr uh, used one of my favorite things that I've discovered, and that is the liquid stevia. And this is the chocolate liquid stevia. Oh, and that makes a difference. So I've tried these with the powdered stevia and I just did not like that flavor, that sweetened flavor. It just did not work for me. But this chocolate really, really works. And then for the um, unsweetened cocoa, I've been using, because I love dark chocolate, so I'm using the special dark Hershey's cocoa chocolate and that works really good. I use that also for my chocolate um, delight. Um, another option would be, and I'm going to try this next time because I really like this and I use it in my chocolate delight, but English toffee flavored the liquid. Um, oh, so it's so good. But, um, and then with the liquid, um, I think I mentioned, I'm not sure if I did, but I use about five drops. If it calls for a packet, then I use five drops. So I did about 30 drops of this in the recipe, mixed it all up, stuck it in the oven. And, um, I wonder if I can get one of these out. I'm going to maybe use a little spoon and, uh, taste it. I made these for a girlfriend of mine who's, um, kind of having a hard day today, and I think she, you know, she's a real chocolate freak. She's an, also a fellow hcg -er. We've been doing this together and supporting each other, and um, I thought I'd make it a little surprise for her, kind of get her spirits up today. She'll love it. So um, anyway, I'm just going to taste it with a spoon because it's still really hot. I think I have to have another taste. Mmm. I don't know. I might have to just taste it some more. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, it's really good. I mean, it satisfies my chocolate and sweet tooth that I have occasionally. It's within the protocol, and um, I'm going to enjoy it. So I hope you like the recipe. It's so awesome that we can find these things on the Internet so easily and that people are sharing like they are. I really appreciate everybody else's blogging, and um, I've learned a lot just from being able to go to YouTube and and watch some of your videos and listen to your stories and um, it's been really helpful for me so hopefully this um, gives you guys some ideas about trying some dessert so we'll talk to you later bye bye